so, so, you know, I'm trying to get something done in a poem, and I've got some idea I'm trying to pursue, say, or at least some metaphor that I'm trying to continue, and I've got these, these words that just want to come, you know, and they want to they they be in the poem also. So, so this is a poem kind of like about how words uh, uh, attract each other. Um, bait goat. I like to just say that, uh, bait goat. It's like bait fish, you know, but a goat. Uh, there is a distance where magnets pull, we feel, having held them back. Likewise, there is a distance where words attract. Set one out like a bait goat and wait, and seven others will approach. But watch out. Roving packs can pull your word away. You find your stake yanked and some rough bunch to thank. <laughs> now, only Rhyme could have written that. You know, I, there's no way to think of that. Uh, I, I always thought I didn't write poems about art. I kind of disdained it as sort of second-rate stuff, you know, where you look, at, you look at something and then you write about it, and it's almost like cheating to me. There's a name for those poems, and I always forget it, but you probably know it. Uh, but this, this poem is called Pentimenti, and, uh, and I was wandering around in the Frick in, uh, in New York, and uh, I read this uh, little, little note under one of the beautiful paintings, and it said, Pentimenti of an earlier position of the arm may be seen. Meaning, if, uh, uh, positions that the artist thought better of, repented of, uh, wiped out. Well, that was fascinating to me. Um, Pentamenti. It's not simply that the top image wears off or goes translucent. Things, back, things underneath come back up, having enjoyed the advantages of rest. That's the hardest part to bear, how the decided against fattens one layer down free of the tests applied to final choices. In this painting, for instance, see how a third arm, long ago repented by the artist, is revealed, working a flap into the surface through which who knows what exiled cat or extra child might steal. Uh, and now, since I'm on kind of an art roll here, uh, I think I'll read another one. This one, I'm crazy about 17th century Dutch still life. Uh, I don't like them to have meat in them. Uh, I like the breakfast theme. Uh, I like the, the lovely heavy silver and linen. I like the peeled lemons. Ah, uh, they're, they're so beautiful. Uh, this is called finish, and it's referring to uh, paint finish. Um, the grape and plum might be said to tarnish when ripe, developing some sort of light dust on their finish, which the least touch disrupts. It is this that the great Dutch still lifes catch the brush as much in love with talc as polish, also with the strange seeing in you notice when a bruise mars a fruit's surface. 